everyone, welcome back to another video on the channel. We're back at iBooks today for a home game against Aberdeen. Got the retro jumper on, you've seen a lot of other retros walking up to this to mark the passing, or well, the anniversary of Jimmy Bell's passing. We've all got the retros on to pay homage then today. A lot of changes in the team itself. Michael Bill said there would be, he said coming up to the summer there's going to be a possibility of up to like 12 new faces, 12 faces out, 12 faces in. We'll see how that comes around in the summer, but yeah, there's been a lot of changes to the team lineups today. One thing I'd have loved to have seen Lovelace getting a start up front rather than Sakala, but there's a lot of players that probably deserve the chance that are getting in there now, like McCrory and Goals, for example. It is extremely weird at this stage of the season to be playing for nothing. You've not won anything, you're not playing for anything for the rest of the season, and at Rangers Football Club, that is simply not good enough. Edmondson House, where I'm going to be back in next Friday, playing in their e-soccer championships, it's called. It's Rangers that have done a little applications for people to come and play in that, to represent Rangers playing, well, what was known as FIFA, what's going to be EA Sports FC. So, yeah, next Friday I'm in there playing. Do you remember what your first wage was? Your first paycheck? The Rangers. The Rangers, yes. 60. With Beal all but confirming that Morelos and Kent won't be renewing their contracts, Kent not in the squad today, apparently injured, up on the bench. Is that the last we've seen of those two in a Rangers jersey? But starting anyway. A man who splits some opinions, Scotty Arthur. Will we be seeing him here next year? Just seems to keep getting another extension, another extension, another extension. But when he's on the pitch, he's not the worst. If I'm honest, for me, I would give him another 12 months. But as a squad rotation player, I do not want to see his going forward with him starting. But for him in and around the dressing room, and possibly get a little on off the bench in some games. And I wouldn't mind seeing it. But at the same time, as well, I don't think he's going to be a massive loss if he goes. Nice to see the roller kick off as well in the lead up to this game that Rangers were spreading the message that Brimham Collective were putting out about charity boxes going around here in memory of Jimmy Bell as well. Good to see. There should be more cooperation I think between the club and the ultras groups.
see her. Aberdeen are kind of after that. Sloppy got the ball away at first, but then Ben Davies was horrendous in his 50-50s. It's the dirty side of the game that we obviously will got an issue of him with. But Robin McCrory, brilliant save there. Just, I cannot understand how he's done it more minutes. Every time we've seen him, he's been good. Davies just sit in the middle when no one need him, which is usually a bad sign. Coming towards the edge, but yeah. Sit up, get stripped. But I think he should be starting over him anyway. Aberdeen now waiting for Rangers to return for a second half, and as of, we've seen all too familiar lately, the Rangers team just aren't even on the pitch. And that is us for another game. 
coming away with a Todd Campbell yet again. He is setting the standards for this group of Rangers players. The rest of the forward line is just not good enough. We're begging for a good striker there. Sakala could have had two assists from Matondo, but Sakala just can't finish. The one chance he did put in the net, he was standing offside for. A couple of players got a chance they had you. You'd be able to see him at all. Yes, he's admitted he's struggling with the fitness and things, but yeah, not involved at all. Yelmaz really liked him today. Stepping in front of his player, more aggressive, more going forward. Liked it. Robbie McCrory, yet again. Four good saves I can think of off the top of my head there. Really good again, and I think he deserves a chance going into next season. Golden stood up against Duke really well for Aberdeen, and he's a player that I do believe would make our forward line better. Let me know what you think in the comments. But that's all for this one. We'll see you next week. Like and subscribe.